That's right. How do you deal with procrastination and laziness? Off you Why are you asking me that question? Why are you on this podcast asking me how to stop procrastinating? Turn off YouTube. Go do something. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with people? This is exactly what you were talking about, about asking a question where you already know the answer to. You know the answer is to stop doing things that waste your time and apply yourself to something important. Now, this may not be a waste of your time, but let me tell you, you're a dumbass, clearly. It's like Googling how to get fit, like you just said. Everyone knows what a push-up is. Do 10,000 of them a day. Stop wasting your fucking time. You know, I've never had to deal with procrastination. I've never had to deal with not being motivated because what is the alternative? Literally, be a loser forever. I am sick of reading shit on the internet saying, yeah, you know, some people are special and they take longer to bloom and your time will come. Let me tell you something. 99.9% .9 of people who are born broke, live broke, stay broke, die broke. That is the reality for almost everybody. The internet and there, it's all going to come to you at the right time. Bullshit is fucking a psyop to keep you down. You already know the answer. You don't need me to tell you. Why the fuck are you asking four men who do not know you personally how to stop wasting your time? I don't even know what you do to waste your time. You already know the fucking answer. Can we ban this guy from our feed or do you guys want to hit him up first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. You nailed it. Pro procrastination. I, I'm not going to try and change who you are as an individual. I don't know. You. Have fun staying poor. Have fun staying poor. I don't know your genetic makeup. If, if you were a warrior, you wouldn't be asking that question. So you're either going to become a warrior or you need to adopt the ways of a warrior or you need to accept your position in life, which is just to, to suffer the pain of being a loser forever. Yeah, get a job at the car wash. Maybe I'll tip you one day. You're correct. Enjoy. I agree with what they're both saying on, on a very, very practical level. Me and Andrew were talking about this on the day, uh, just this morning on the way to lunch, I guess, or this afternoon. Just be imperfect on purpose, man. Like, don't, I always tell people, like, shoot the fucking gun shoot 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 and as long as you're aiming in the general direction you're supposed to no matter what you do the first time you shoot that gun you're going to have to adjust the scope mm. so shoot the fucking gun so you know how far you're off every business pivots every every workout plan is going to pivot everything is going to change you have to shoot the gun to know how far you're off and then you start honing it in and then you actually have a little bit of positive momentum that'll get your ass up and going so shoot the fucking gun miss on purpose be imperfect on purpose take action over everything because you're never going to do it perfect anyway so just go 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 I hope that what these two gentlemen said just now about you being a loser and you staying broke pisses you off. Yeah. Because if it pisses you off, you might actually do something. Yeah. That is actually the blessing that these two just gave you is pissing you off. Or I'll see you in the car wash. Yeah, absolutely. I don't I don't care if you turn your life around. I don't know you. I don't there's, care. There's very there's not many truly like if you put effort into the universe i think it's newton's it's newton's second law right equal and opposite force mm. people always say oh I, I wish i had something to work on you could work hard on anything it could be the most jackass thing you can work hard on i don't know fucking whittling buildings wh yeah, whittling twigs but if you truly work your ass off it's difficult for it to have a negative impact on your life maybe you'll end up on the instagram page the best instagram page on twig whittling and, and, and who knows right my point is that it's very hard to find truly, truly negative energy that's directed in a, in a, in a semi-positive direction. It's hard to say I'm working my ass off at X and it's made my life worse. Mm. You know, you're not you're not doing anything and, and you're asking the question, hoping I'm going to give you some magical answer that's going to allow you to be motivated forever. But motivation isn't real. Everyone says this. Motivation is not real. Discipline's real. I do not feel like training, but I still train because I'm a disciplined individual. You don't get to go through life only doing the things you feel like doing. Do you know who gets to do that? women Be beautiful women beautiful women get to do what they feel like doing as a man you have to do the things you're supposed to do because what we said earlier is absolutely true it's player versus player my friend now if i wake up i've already got this massive head start over you in life and nearly every genetic gift plus all my finances plus my network and i wake up and i decide even though i don't feel like working i'm gonna work my ass off and you wake up way down there a peon and you can't be bothered to work what chance do you have against men like us you don't stand a chance. You can't get the girl. We'll take the girl off you. We'll, we'll, we'll bankrupt your ass. We'll kick you out your house. You name it. You don't stand a chance. Now, if you're going to wake up and look in the mirror and understand that you're absolutely not only really crushable, that you're a rabbit and that lions exist, and that's not going to motivate you to do something about it, then you're a lost cause. And there's, there's no point in asking us a question. You know exactly what you need to do. If you want to stay killable, then stay killable.
but I can't live that way. I would refuse to live that way. It's a disgrace to my bloodline. It's a disgrace to my parents who struggled to raise me for me to be anything other than the best version of myself. That's honor. I have honor to my last name and to my and to my ancestry. Mm. It would be disgusting for them all to have fought saber tooth tigers so I can wake my lazy ass up, jerk off all day, and ask on YouTube how I can stop being a fucking loser. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, oh, 100%. So this is this is down to you, my friend. And and listen, you may be feel fired up for 10 minutes after this little talk, but you're not going to feel fired up forever. You need to put systems in place. You need to get discipline. And like Justin says, you need to get an atmosphere of people around you who are going to keep you accountable and not make it easy for you to continue to be a fucking nobody. And then you're going to fix your life. Otherwise, you're going to stay a nobody. That's your problem. It ain't my problem. It's, it's true. your problem. But also, we need people at the car wash. When I go to McDonald's and I order a burger, someone has to make it. And I used to make them. I ain't even hating. If you're in McDonald's trying to better yourself, working your working your job away, good for you. Work on your side hustles, work on yourself. I used to work at fast food, but we need people to make those burgers because sometimes men like us get hungry. If you want to get rich, you have to act quickly. You have to do things fast. Speed is rule one. Not enough people understand the, the importance of speed because every hour you spend not making money is an hour you're not going to get back. The sooner you turn on the tap to the money, the more money you're going to make. You have to be very, very quick. A lot of people think my life is so interesting and they think the things I say are so controversial and interesting and they're 5% of what's in my head. Yeah. I could say so much more controversial things. I could say things far more abrasively and I have stories which are far more interesting than the ones anyone's ever heard. Yeah. And I only tell a very small percent because I have to protect myself and the people I care. I would have the ability to speak and everybody absorb my knowledge and words and understand that I'm ultra intelligent. And I find and, out. And, and, no. and a basic oh, wait, superpower. Oh, wait. We're talking about I already that. have the superpower. Here we okay, are. Yeah. I'm the most Googled man on the okay. planet. It's very been. hard to not become a billionaire in the world today, I think, if you're truly intellectual. I'm already a billionaire if I had to have my net worth measured. I genuinely want every single tape fan, anybody who listens to what I say, to have an improved life. Mm. I want their life to be better for listening to me, whether it's in their relationship or whether it's in their physical stature or their financial capability. The idea of a 16-year-old spending their last money on a coin because I said so, mm. and them losing money would bother me at night. And they will lose it. And they will lose, of course so, they'll lose. Yeah. Mm. Crypto is, per this is what most people don't even understand about the crypto market, it's player versus player. You can only sell it for $10 after buying it for a dollar because someone's buying it at $10. Mm -hmm. Someone is out to lose. So mm -hmm. you can't launch a coin and nobody loses. This is why I haven't launched a crypto. I can make $10 billion mm -hmm. today if I launched a crypto, but I refuse to do it because people are going to lose under my name. Yeah. It's all clown world. Yeah. And then you get to the point where you have to realize, do I need more money or do I want to genuinely be a force for good in the mm -hmm. world? And I don't need money. And it's the last thing I need. So I'm not going to sell my soul. Logan's obviously a brokey. So he mm -hmm. sold his soul like a punk. And now God, then he insulted God, which was great. He's, you know, he's, he, I he, didn't see that. He, he, yeah, he robbed all yeah, his fans and then he sat there and insulted God and now God's teaching him a lesson. And maybe he's mm. take his atheistic ass and go look in the fucking mirror and understand that there's powers in his universe he doesn't understand. And he can stop being an arrogant piece of shit and he can apologize to his fans. He can take the last money in his little brokey bank account and refund it like a man would. That's what I'd do if they were insulting me. I'd go and say, look, here's my bank balance. I have this much money, I'm giving it to Cherry. Guy's a fucking punk. He just wants to continue to talk on podcasts and pretend his fans are going to care about him forever. Nobody respects that man any longer from the day he attacked me. Anybody who attacks me gets fucking wrecked. True Jory lost every sponsor, got wrecked. Logan got wrecked. I'm divinely protected. These clowns need to just not say my name. So yeah, because they're, they're people without morals. And if you have no morality on a long enough time scale, God will teach you a lesson. They're fucking morally bankrupt mm -hmm. individuals. They're just sitting there, anything they can to grab some money from the world, fucking their